Rachel Lindsay is leaving the Bachelor Happy Hour podcast and ending her contract with the franchise. Hey guys, welcome back to another shared news from home. We have all the details on this major update from Rachel Lindsay, but before we get into it, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. As always, I'm your host, Fiona Zaring, and I'm joined by the wonderful Mariah Davis. Mariah, this news feels like it may have been a long time coming, but it is shocking nonetheless. Let's get into all the details. It's official. During the 99th episode of the Bachelor Happy Hour podcast on Tuesday, Rachel concluded with a message to fans announcing her departure. She said, in part, quote, I'm going to make this short and sweet. All good things must come to an end, and I feel like certain things run their course, and for me, I have run my course when it comes to the podcast. So, like I said, she told us she was going to be doing this, right? I mean, we knew, we've known for a while, but the moment is finally here. I mean, how are you feeling? What do you think now that now that the day has come? It is weird for it to finally happen because like you said, we did know this was happening. We knew she had said that she was ready to kind of cut ties with the Bachelor franchise and now it's really happening. I think, you know, time has gone on. The dust has settled a little bit. So it might not be so much in the heat of the moment, but that even just kind of confirms to me more so how serious she was because she wasn't saying that in the heat of controversy. She was saying that because she really meant it. She really thought about it. And clearly this is just a decision that she thinks is in her best interest moving forward. Yeah, absolutely. And to anyone out there who may be nervous, this isn't the end of the Bachelor Happy Hour podcast. It's just the end of her time on it. A replacement co-host is going to be announced at a later date. They haven't been dropping any hints yet, but of course we will keep you posted. During Rachel's announcement of her departure, she said, thank you for riding with me for such a long time. Continue to ride with Becca, support her and uplift her and the podcast as well. Rachel is, of course, you know, this wasn't her only podcast. She's still going to be hosting the Higher Learning podcast. And she is a correspondent on Extra. So fans of Rachel will obviously still get to see her. It's great that the podcast is going to be going on. I mean, she reflected on her time she talked about how Ali Fedotowski was an original host, then Becca came in. I mean, it has been a long time with Rachel and Becca, but it is, at the end of the day, a great opportunity for somebody new to come in and to breathe some new life into the podcast. Right, and it's exciting for us, too, as listeners, as people who follow the Bachelor franchise to see who's going to be stepping into that role next. Are they going to be an alum from, like, way, way back, or are they going to be more recent? I mean... We had just talked about in our last episode how Tasha Adams enjoyed co-hosting, so maybe she steps in as the new podcast co-host. I don't know. I feel like the possibilities are endless because we have such a huge family of Bachelor alum, so it is sad to see her go, but I like that she is mentioning, like, let's still support this podcast just because I've decided that this is the end of this chapter for me doesn't mean that you guys can't still go on and enjoy this. Does that, this isn't me canceling the podcast, you know, like saying it's socially not acceptable to support the Bachelor franchise <laughs> or the podcast at all. So at the end of the day, great opportunity for someone new to step in and still exciting because we'll still get to have Rachel and all of her other kind of hosting roles and responsibilities. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, listen, we said it, it's been a long time coming and she actually opened up during that episode, the 99th episode, if you guys haven't listened to it yet, about how it's been behind the scenes for her. And you know, it hasn't been easy. She said, quote, I've been struggling, that's no secret. It's been really, really hard for me lately. And a lot of the things that we talk about on this podcast are about taking care of yourself and finding your peace and protecting that peace and protecting your mental health. So for me, I just feel like I've come to the end of doing the podcast. I'm glad that I'm leaving on a high note when it's the 100th episode, such a big milestone. She is so right. It really does kind of feel like the right moment. It's the 100th episode. It's, you know, it kind of bookends her journey with it. And at the end of the day, you do, I think she's somebody who really does want to practice what she preaches, right? And if she's on a podcast preaching, protecting her mental, you know, your mental health while hers is suffering behind the scenes, it's just not a good fit anymore. Right. It is the right moment for her after all of this time. Like I mentioned earlier, you know, it's not that she had said that she wanted to cut ties with the franchise 
just in the heat of the controversy. It's really something that she had to think over and think, okay, is this really even serving me at this point? Am I serving it at this point? And after time has passed, especially given the fact that it's going to be the 100th episode, that is a huge milestone. So it all kind of adds up. You know, she has really like stuck it out, despite maybe in the moment she just wanted to cut it cut it off completely, but she still continued to show up and show out for the podcast and everyone, all of the listeners, I'm sure really appreciated that. So it is just good timing for her. Yeah, it definitely is. And I think, listen, a lot of us have been waiting, you know, kind of for the other shoe to drop since all of the controversy unfolded, since she first said like, you know, I have some contractual ties, but once those are out, I, you know, I'm done. I'm going to be moving on. Uh, just to see what that would look like and sort of, I just think the tone of her exit, right? Is it like good riddance, I'm out of here, see you never? Or was it with some peace and acceptance and the potential for the door to maybe reopen down the line once the franchise evolves a little bit, once she has some time away? I mean, to kind of honestly create an identity away from the franchise for herself. Rachel Lindsay is such a big name at this point, especially within, you know, the midst of Bachelor Nation. But I think she's kind of ready, right, to run with just being Rachel and see where that takes her for a while. Uh, but of course, it comes back to that question. Will we ever see her work with the franchise again? Will she ever come back to this podcast in particular? And here's what she had to say. It's actually pretty interesting. She said, quote, this is the first podcast I've ever done. And for me, it's just stepping away. You should never say never. I'm definitely closing the door, but I'm not locking it and throwing away the key. It's just, I have to for me walk away. And I feel like this podcast is in amazing hands with you. Of course, she was talking to Becca. She went on to really hype up Becca, talk about how wonderful you know their friendship is, how much she appreciates the journey they've been on, obviously how much she appreciates the listeners and the space they created. And to that point, she did end saying, quote, I'm sure I'll pop in from time to time to say hello. So obviously, her relationship with Becca means a lot to her. Her relationship with the audience means a lot to her. The door's closed, but I think that was a really great way of putting it. It's not locked, so who knows what the future holds. She does, of course, have Becca's full support in her decision to move forward. Becca said, quote, I will always welcome you back with open arms. And she said that she understands that for Rachel's mental health, this is the time for her to move on. I think this is really interesting. Obviously, we know those two have a great bond, a great relationship. So I never expected there to be ill feelings or, you know, bad blood. Becca, more than anyone, probably understands where Rachel's coming from. Uh, but this is interesting to hear, the door is always open, I'm not locking it. Like these phrases they're using definitely point to her, you know, having some hope that there might be another moment for her down the line in the franchise. And I just have to say, I wasn't expecting this. I was so much more expecting a, you know, this franchise is not for me anymore. Like, thank you for listening, but it's time for me to go. Like, I won't be coming back, right? I was just expecting something more along those lines. Did this take you by surprise at all? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I'm going to go back to in the heat of the controversy, she said she wanted to cut ties with the Bachelor franchise. And to me, cutting ties, like you're severing it. There's no going back. The bridge is burnt. But I think after some time, the dust has settled. Like I mentioned earlier, maybe... Her thoughts have kind of changed a little bit. Uh, you know, she's mentioning she's closing the door, but there still is a possibility and one should never say never. So that could be also a show that she sees that the Bachelor franchise is making the moves that they need to move to progress. And maybe she wants to kind of revisit that in the future to continue to be a part of that progression. I don't know. I think she's played a huge role in the moves that the franchise has made thus far, especially past all of this controversy that happened just earlier this year. So it's interesting that now there's a little bit of a change of tone than there was like a few months ago. But also I'm kind of happy because none of us want to see, you know, of course we want to see Rachel succeed and separate herself from The Bachelor and be her own successful woman as she is. But we love her for, you know, all the good that she's brought to the franchise. And of course we want to see her revisit it from time to time. So. It's an interesting change of tone, but I think a lot of Bachelor fans are kind of happy about it. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, you put it best. I mean, she's been such an integral part in making all of the changes that have, like the little, even tiny things that have happened up until this point, that progress we've all been pushing for. She's been leading the charge. 
I think even more than we know probably behind the scenes for some time now. So I do think that a lot of us, I mean, I can speak for myself at the very least, like people in Bachelor Nation are optimistic that this is going to be a great new chapter, that they're going to meet the moment, they're going to fulfill those promises, and they're going to create a new wave of the franchise that is, you know, what it should be. That's what Rachel's been fighting for for such a long time. I think it just needs to not be her fight, right? She can't she can't have it all on her shoulders all the time any longer, which is so understandable. But I think if they can prove to fans that this is a bold new chapter where we're going to, you know, make things right and usher in an era of change, then I could definitely see her being like, "All right, this is what I always knew it could be. I'm ready to step back in, see where I can potentially be involved, where I'm a fit, if they need me, if I need it." So lots of great possibilities down the line in more ways than one, honestly. You guys, for now, that is everything we have to share with you from Rachel. Obviously, that 100th episode is going to be an emotional one. We have not heard her say her final farewell yet, so we will all be waiting to hear you know, what her parting words are. In the meantime, we do want to know what your thoughts are on her choosing to leave the podcast now, choosing to leave the franchise. Let us know down in the comments. And of course, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so we can keep you updated as all of these new developments start to happen. As always, I'm your host, Fiona Zaring, joined by the wonderful Mariah Davis. If you want to come say hi, our social handles are on the screen right now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.